Today we'll look at various ways of attaching columns to different levels using the Project Explorer's work plane and how this could maximize your time. So I'm going to make everything visible and notice the elevation level. That's what the columns will be attached to. I'm using the grid intersect points to place the columns. So use columns as columns because they're used to determine the direction for detailing based on other default settings and the drawing styles used when you're detailing. Try not to use beams as a column. Let me just finish putting in the columns there. And if I've done this right, the tops of the columns should be attached to level one. And there you go. So I'm going to select the work planes and I'm going to select the columns. I want to extend the column height up until level two. So I'm going to select the little icon, select the text and I'm prompted to select the work plane, attach elements. I'm going to select the little geometry points, hit the enter key, and there you have it. The columns are attached to level two. Going back to the structures, you're going to see that level one is activated. We'll be creating some beams there, but now I will be putting in my columns. And there we go. And I'll change out the section size for two of them. I need uh, HSS. So for these two columns, I'm just going to change out these sections to rectangular, actually square, and the size to 8 by 8 by a half. I'm going to select the columns, and I want to attach them to level 1. So I'll select the work planes, select the on and the text and the level, right click and attach elements, select the geometry points, enter, and there you go. Now that's done, I'll put in my beams. Remember there's also a continuous beam tool set that we can use. So after this is done, I'll just go to the properties. And on the Sections and Materials tab, I'm going to change out the section size, put it at top of steel, uh, look at the level it's on, and put in a model roll beams. Go back to the structures, and from the elevation properties, let's just right click and go to the properties, and change out that level height, we'll put it at 8 feet. Select OK and watch the beams follow. You can really maximize your time when using the Project Explorer's work planes and levels. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.